I'd like to review with you the uh, Cartesian coordinate system. Now, most of you have probably plotted points before, so this should probably, probably be a review for most of you. Let's go ahead and take a look. I want to talk about what's called the Cartesian coordinate system. Well, what that is is basically two number lines on top of each other. We have, first of all, a horizontal number line, which we will call the x-axis. Okay, And then we put a vertical number line. We'll call that the y-axis. Okay, And this is going to be called our Cartesian coordinate system. And the point right here in the middle, the starting point, if you like, we'll call that the origin. I'll label that O or maybe 0. And we'll just put a few tick marks on each side. Okay. Now notice we've separated the system into four quadrants. And the way we label these quadrants, we start here, and we'll call that quadrant one. We usually use Roman numerals. And we go counterclockwise. So we have quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. Now if we'd like to plot a point in our Cartesian coordinate system, we usually label a point as an ordered pair, maybe A comma B. For example, if I wanted to plot the ordered pair 1 comma 5, then I would go horizontally one unit in the x direction, and I'd go vertically five units up because it's positive. So the ordered pair 1 comma 5 would be over 1, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And there would be my point. Okay? So let's practice plotting a couple points. Okay. Let's give the quadrant in, we, in which each of the following points is located. So we want to label the point and then tell if it's in quadrant 1, 2, 3, or 4. All right, so let's take a look at the first one. Here's an ordered pair. We want to plot the point negative 2, comma 3. Again, this is the x coordinate. This is the y. So to plot this point, we go to the left, 2, negative 2, up, 3. And there's our ordered pair, negative 2, comma 3. So that means that this point was located in quadrant 2. All right. Here's another point. Square root of 2 is the x-coordinate. Negative square root of 5 is the y-coordinate. Again, we need to go over the square root of 2. Well, maybe that's about right in here somewhere. And we need to go down the square root of 5. So down here somewhere, square root of 2, comma, negative square root of 5. So that point would be located in quadrant 4. Not too difficult stuff. All right, let's do one last example. <clears throat> okay, here's a nice little example. Let's say the point AB is a point located in quadrant 4. We want to figure out in which quadrant will the point negative A comma B lie. Well, let's go ahead and draw a quick Cartesian coordinate system. All right, so let's plot the point A comma B. Now, it's given that this point is in quadrant 4, which is down here. So the point A, that's the x-coordinate. So let's just give it a value about there. There's A. And maybe B is here. So here's the point A, comma, B. Okay. Now, in which quadrant will the point negative A, comma, B lie? Well, notice that the y-coordinates are the same, so it must have the same y-value. But the x-coordinate is negative a. Well, if this is a, negative a must be right here. So the point negative a, comma b, is this point right here. Therefore, we are in quadrant 3. Okay. Not too difficult stuff. This should have been a review for most of you. Uh, remember, you can always review these lectures as many times as you'd like, um, and please come by Polia, and we'll help you there.